Hi, my name is Anya McIntyre and I'm reporting for the North Belfast News. Today we are in Chestnut Grove, which is one of the Belfast Trust's one of nine residential homes. Uh, there are plans to close several residential homes in the city of Belfast and we're here talking to residents today about the possibility it could be them. Mr. Happy being the outlaw board. What? Okay, um, so just just to kind of just clarify that again, people would be very upset. Oh, we are upset. Yeah. We are upset. Some, some of them can't think straight at all. No. Only they don't know where to go. And you were saying you've met some good friends here? Oh, oh yes. It's like one big happy family. That's just what it is, all community. The thing is, do and can you imagine? Um, and I couldn't know any John one, because I've only the that's paralysed, and I've only one hand. So you would need some help. I would. Yeah. Okay. I'm the same. I had a stroke, a stroke mm -hmm. on my very hand side, <laughs> and I no control over the right arm. Uh -huh. I don't fortunately I'm right handed. Oh. So I don't do a ring my do a ring my okay. Elizabeth, how do you feel about them potentially? Very sad closing? Mm -hmm. and heartbroken. Mm -hmm. And that's at all in a nutshell. You mm -hmm. don't know what way to turn and everybody's trying to keep each other up. And where would you go, for example, if they did close chest? Well that's just what I don't know. Uh-huh. Do you have anywhere to go, is there? No. No. My daughter has a family, her son living with her, and uh -huh. the sister's a bad heart, and that just leaves me out in the cold. But you are prepared to fight it? Have oh, yes, spread? all the way to. Fantastic. Yes, as the government says, we need them, but we need them now, and we need help now. Need help yeah. now. Um, I mean, I'm not... Like, some places cost £400 a month, some places cost even more. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, you know, to pay here, so it's not as if you're living here for free. Oh, no, yes. we're not. Yeah. I mean, going back to what a little bit said there, drugs, mm. when I sympathise on them, it is self-inflicted. It is. Like, uh, old age is not self-inflicted. Hopefully, everyone will go cold. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but drugs are self-inflicted. Growing old happens to everyone.